Hello, my name is Benjamin Timothy Gobi, and for my project, the BTG Interviews, today I am interviewing Alicia Rodado. What are you known for? Uh, I think my biggest thing is going to be Arrow. I've yep. been Diana Benedicta on season four. Yeah. Alongside Stephen Amell and Jimmy Akinbola, a local, mm -hmm. a local Englander. Uh, so that'll probably be it. And some more on Supernatural and such. Surrey, and then I moved to Vancouver mm -hmm. later while I was in university. And what age did I start acting? Professionally acting? Mm -hmm. 23. 23. 23, yeah. Maybe at the end of my 22s, 23. Uh, so I've been doing it now for, I don't know, what's the math on that? Over a decade? 10 years. Yeah. Ten years. Oh my god, I can't do math. <laughs> question, question two What has been your best and most challenging roles in your career? I just shot a film last summer called Kilbert, an independent feature. Mm -hmm. um, was the number one on that call sheet. Super fun, a lot of pressure. But I think that was the most challenging because it was such a tight cast. Like it was pretty much a two-hander between um, my colleagues Stephen Lobo and I, and mm -hmm. then we had our other uh, cast members come in and out. But the dialogue on that was crazy. I mean, it was monologues of monologues of monologues back and forth, plus action fighting sequences, mm -hmm. um, stunt work, which I did the majority of my own work in as well, and just the language that we were doing. Mm -hmm. like It was like, you'll see it when it comes out. It's like a little thriller kind of action movie. So it was a very smart um, script. Mm -hmm. So a lot to take in and then do uh, I'd say that would be, as of late, the most challenging thing I've really sunk into. Mm having a little bit of car trouble. My car stalled and it won't even turn over. Why are you here? Uh, my car stalled. What I mean is, no one lives around here. Look, you visiting someone? Birding. Birding? You like birds? Well, I'm a photographer, freelance. You know, pays the bills, kind of love it, but not really. What kind of birds? The colorful kind. Yourself? Yeah. I mean, I had reception and then I didn't, you know, it comes and goes. So I just thought that you might have something more stable. Ah. No. Okay. Um, well, do you mind if I step inside for a minute and just use your charger? Because the guys who sold me this phone are total liars. They told me that I would have reception anywhere I go with a 12 hour battery, new technology, and all that. Total BS when I looked it up. And then they told me I had the wrong model and not the newest model. They told me 100 lies to cover up the first. So 12 hour battery in my ass, it's more like two. You gotta charge her, right? I don't own a cell phone. Oh. Okay, well, I would kind of go somewhere else, but uh, you're kind of the only game in town. What game? It's just an expression. Is there any role or character you would like to play, portray in the future, and why? I can't wait to play a mom. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. I just feel mm -hmm. like... But I... I don't... I, I mean, do you watch the show Shameless? No. No, I've never seen it. Yeah, it's like fun and like mm -hmm. raw and dirty and crazy. Like, I kind of want to be a mom almost like in that vibe. Like, mm -hmm. raw. I don't know. But I'm, I don't know. Maybe a mom. 
Question four, which actors, actresses, directors and writers have you enjoyed working with before and are there any you would like to work with in the future? I mean, a lot of my co-stars I've loved working with. I mean, like, Emilio and Stephen Amell was a dream to work with as well. Um, that's, a, that's a tough question to answer in just like a minute here, but mm -hmm. I would say I've learned so much from a lot of the people I've been with on set and in the sound booth. So everyone, thank you, I always learn. Um, and then in terms of like who I want to work with, there's so many people too. Like, I'd love to work with Tim Burton one day. Mm -hmm. um, That's not to say that. No way, who? Yeah. Uh, who was that? I, um, yeah, I'd love to. I mean, like, come on. So focused. Okay, I'd love to work with him. Like, how yeah. crazy. Um, <laughs> I mean, Wes Anderson would be amazing. <laughs> There's so many people. Um, Patty Jenkins, I mean in the voice booth there's so, there's other people, I don't even like really know their names, but I just like, like, there's so many people. I know I sound like a moron right now, but I'm like, I don't really know everyone's name, but there's a ton, ton of people. I mean, I'd love to work alongside like Jessica Chastain as an actor one day, I think she'd be phenomenal. You know, Anthony Hopkins if he's still working, like, mm -hmm. kind of like the old, the old souls. Barry Smith. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't know. There's so many. Michael Kay, Morgan Freeman, yeah. Could you imagine? Like, yeah. Hi, I'm Michael Kay. Yeah. Can't even do that. Morgan Freeman. I'm Morgan Freeman. Oh, Morgan Freeman. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Chinese use this island as a prison. <coughs> Bet you didn't know that. Said being sentenced here was worse than any hell. <coughs> Guess I'll just have to see if I can give those Chinese a run for their money. Ryder's gonna get through with you eventually. Then you and me will have a little uninterrupted time. Ugh. He lost a lot of blood. He shouldn't let these wounds sit open like that. For you. You saved my life again. <clears throat> Nearly at the expense of your own. <laughs> you didn't deserve to die. You're a good man. My brother would have liked you. Question five. How do you feel your career in acting has progressed over the years, and are there any areas in acting you would like to further develop? I think I've had a pretty question great... Five, yeah, question five. There's been a good development. Um, yeah. I started in the theatre, got my degree from university in that, did a couple shows, got into film and TV. Um, I mean, I'd, of course, I'd love to land a series regular one day, maybe have a show for a little bit. Or, you know, hop on a bunch of shows as recurring guest stars, that would be kind of fun too. Mm -hmm. I'd love to do more films. Like, yeah. I really would love to sink my teeth into more films, like big budget films would be rad. Um, and then I guess, you know, I do voiceover work now, and I love it. I would love to keep flourishing in that and mm -hmm. get on some rad cartoons and mm. some more video so games. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I have the luxury of, and have had and still have the luxury of being able to play in all facets mm -hmm. of it. I wonder, yeah, I mean, I'd love to maybe direct one day. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe do stuff behind the camera. Um, producing, I dabble in, but not like full-heartedly. So mm -hmm. I'd love to learn more about that. I just kind of want to know more about the machine entirely mm -hmm. um, as a whole. But as an actor, I mean, there's some, I'd love to do a sitcom one day. Like that would be fun for me. Like yeah. never, I've never dabbled in that world at all yet because it's a totally different beast of on-camera work. Mm -hmm. So I think that would be really fun to do. Question six, finally, do you have any advice for me or anyone who wants to go into acting or any other job in film, TV, radio, stage work? Well, what do you want to do? Directing. You want to be an actor, director? Directing mostly. I want to do acting, but directing is my main thing. I think. I think one of the biggest assets you can give yourself is learning how to talk to actors mm -hmm. and learning their language as well as a director. Yeah. Um, because I think it would <laughs> make things a lot smoother and getting what you want from your actors. Uh, and we won't have to really do so much translating of yeah. trying to read your mind. Yeah. <laughs> so I would encourage you to take an acting class. Yeah. You know, if you want to go into directing, take an acting class as an actor. Experience what that is like. Um, not that we need your empathy, yeah. 
Yeah. Just so you can experience it for yourself. I mean, mm-hmm. just like how I would want to take a directing class. Mm. You know, even though I've been on set, I still want to know what it's like for that thing. And for everyone out there who wants to be an actor, um, I mean, be patient, keep working hard, keep training, stay in class when you're not on set working. Um, find your passion within the industry because it's a hard ass industry. Mm-hmm. And it can really eat you up alive if you don't have that vision and that drive. And then just be gentle with yourself, you know, because there's so much as an actor that is out of your control mm-hmm. that you cannot control and you have to be at peace with that. Um, and then for all those other people that just want to do other things in the biz, like just start somewhere. You know, you can go to school for it, sure. You could go and take classes, sure. But I think even, you know, some of the most valuable stuff that I've ever learned has been on set. Mm-hmm. Just watching even, you know, like sometimes when I'm not physically needed on set for my scene, I still like to be there yeah. and watch and learn and see how a director works and see how the whole machine works, you know, if they allow me. But um, I would say try and get on sets, you know, yeah. try and get into the theater if that's what you want to do. Try and just volunteer if you can or get out there. I think that's where you're going to learn the most okay. from experience, right? Yeah. And then seeing if you really like it or not. Because some yeah. days are going to be amazing. Some days aren't. Yeah. Yep. But then they're still going to be amazing if yeah. you can learn something yeah. from that moment rather than be a Debbie Downer. Yeah. You know, and let it get the best of you. Hey, thank yeah. you very much. Thanks, man. Thank you.